I forgot to do this. Um, in the last episode, uh, the search for the remaining orbs continues. Uh, our heroes pay a visit to the peaceful vil fishing village of Lanolulu. There, they seek out a fisherman named Kai at the request of his bride to be a mermaid named Michelle. The men of the village are off trying to tackle a tentacular, and the party sailed to their aid before returning as guests of honor at Victory Feast. Kai is nowhere to be seen at the banquet, so Mason, Veronica, and Jade set out on a stroll around the village to try to find him. They soon find a man sitting at the pier in the moonlight, hard at work. Though his name is Kai, he insists he is not the one who they are looking for. It seems there's some kind of misunderstanding, and the man betrothed to the mermaid was his grandfather, Kai Noi. Kai tells the story of how his granddad's soul was stolen by a sultry siren, causing him to die alone. He asks Mason to meet him at Saikiki Beach, as there's something he wants, to, wants him to pass on to the mermaid if she's really real. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Dragon Quest XI, folks! In the last episode, we made our way to Lanolulu, failed uh, to craft gear perfectly, and fought against a tentacular trying to find Kai, and completely dogpiled that boss. And by dogpiled, I mean we literally got dogpiled. Like, Rob and fucking... Like, Rob and Veronica croaked in that fight. We were already we were already out of MP before we even started taking down the boss's health. And yeah, um, I can't grind because I want to leave here. I was going to spend my time grinding. But guess what? We're figuring out how the story ends before I start to grind 10 levels. Who's with me on this one? Um, who? I have no idea why I'm up here. Only that, um... Uh... Yeah. I need to, um... Can we get to, like, the ultimate key or something? I forget what that key is called. I know it was from Dragon Quest IX. I know in Dragon Quest IX there was, like, a magic key where you can open some doors, and then there's, like, the ultimate key, which allows you to, like, open every lock door in the game and it's like fun backtracking that's what i love about like about like the, the late game of that game you just get the ultimate key and you can just open every door and just go for it i don't remember if there's a magic key or anything like that in this game but i do know we don't get the ultimate key till way later on so regardless um i'm also wearing the the, the royal armor which Instead of the Troding armor, I'm going to be wearing this for, like, majority of the game. Even though I honestly have played dozens of hours of this game. Having the, the protagonist in the Trodian set. That I literally believe that it could honestly be his canonical uh, appearance. Even though it's not. It is the guy from Dragon Quest VIII, which I really want to play. It's on 3DS. And I still have my uh, Citra emulator installed and running, so all I need to do is just find out where the uh, ROM is, and hey, we can have our second 3DS Let's Play on the channel. Anywho, we need to go meet Kai on Saikiki, because he's going to give us, like, I don't know, the, the condom that his grandfather was going to use. Oh. This veil was my tutus, Ma said when she found him after he died. He was just lying there, holding on to it. Guess there was a reason I never threw it away. If you really know where to find that mermaid, I want you to take it to her and tell her he's dead. Okay. Da 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 da. I'm also gonna make the episode a bit more short because- Look, I'm sorry if I was kind of short with you back there, but it hasn't been easy for me oh, and Oh, that's okay, mom. dude. I completely understand. It's not every day a stranger comes up to you and tells you that, like, you've, uh, made a pact with a mermaid. And that your mom might have been the spawn of a mermaid. And you could be part mermaid. After living in a town where mermaids are shunned upon. I, I totally understand, my guy. But, back to what I was saying. I'm gonna make the episode a bit short because, uh, last episode was way longer than I wanted it to. I wanted to at least, like, be around, like, 45 minutes. Because I'm trying to break out the, uh, hour the one hour um, recording mark 
because for a lot of my let's plays i've been doing that a lot recently when it comes to like rpgs and shit and i'm trying to not be it with this game just have it around like 45 minutes like i did when i was playing through um insurgents at the time i really need to play pokemon again after grandpa died they let her go back to the village and marry a local guy but it didn't stop folks talking but she rose above it turned it into that story show of hers and now that's how she makes her living she's a smart woman tough too I hate that mermaid for what she's put us through. And I don't want my kids to suffer like we have. The Kahuna's finally letting me sail with the other men. The curse is nearly undone. Please, take the veil and let that be an end to it. Dude, I need to have a conversation with your voice actor. He needs to put more motion to this. <laughs> I'm sorry. Fuck! Alright. Okay, let's go to the Strand. Um... Ah, perfect. Alright, time to go grind for five hours. No, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna um, fucking... Just see how the story ends. And depending on how long it takes... It's gonna be how long the episode will be, I guess. I don't know. Might be a bit longer, but I'm gonna try to like have it around a half hour. Maybe a little bit under. Anywho. Hey, Michelle. Hello again, my friend. I'm so happy you returned. It's been so long since you went off, I got a bit concerned. I worried that your ship had sunk or Kai had gone away. That's why I'm singing happy songs to keep my tears at bay. Oh, yeah, fuck, I remember. You're, you're, you're the fucking... You're, you're the fucking... You're, you, you talking fucking rhymes. Why is this an option? Why is this an option? I feel like if I lied, like, I think Jade might actually, like, actually kick me in the head. Although I am wearing this nice helmet, it might work. My Kai is dead. That can't be true. I don't believe a word. It's ludicrous. Ridiculous. Preposterous. Absurd. Hold on a minute. Was that you're holding your hand? I know that pearls and she sells on a pretty coral band. <laughs> You say my Kai made me this whale veil to wear when we were wed and clutches pass away, you're saying he's dead? <laughs> uh, I can't do this. Like I'm actually cringing inside. No, please, no, it can't be so. I know he never make he never make that promise he made to me. There must be some mistake. How come my Kai passed away? He nurse back to health. I simply won't believe it until I found out for myself. And you meet the Kai you met, and hear it straight from him. Take me to Lana Lulu. You can sail and I can swim. What? Oh, I don't come- Oh, thanks, you're very kind, but there's a lot to think about. I'll fall on behind. Okie dokie, I'll see you later. Fuck! Is it because I'm in the fucking bitch town? Fucking shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that sounds like a good idea. Oh my god. It's local sea mermaid, they'll fear their hearts with fear. I'll hide on this abandoned beach and wait for Kai right here. <laughs> Sorry to keep asking, but it's my final plea. Would you please find the man you met and bring him back to I fucking hate this bitch. Please die already. Okay, so uh this... Yeah, I think he's like in town like trying to get with some bitch. I love the like you have the option to lie. Oh, okay, you're here now. <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, I wonder what I should do next. Oop, it, if it isn't Luminary himself, how long were you Actually, never mind, I'll tell you my past word if you promise to tell it. I still don't know if I want to do these. Altar of the Cursed King. Okay, I'll see you later. I do know that- I do know when I was playing this, like, years ago, on the Switch for the first time, I did do some Dragon Quest IX stuff in the film of nostalgia. Where is that Kai cunt? Oh. Okay, he's literally down there. My ears still dump. So, um... I don't know what to rhyme dump with, so I'm just gonna leave it there. Uh, 
Alright, Kaya needs a favor. Yes. Mahalo, thanks, friend. Sorry to make you take care of that for me. I should do some for you in return. Fix up your ship, go get you some pearls, maybe? Just say the word. Let me go to Saikiki Beach, Beach with you. Why'd you want to go to a lonesome place like that? I'm sure that's all you want. I guess a promise is a promise. Lead the way. Is that guy actually going to follow me? Up. Oh, that's hilarious. He actually is following me. <laughs> Alright. I know you don't have a sprinting animation. I'm sprinting. I be sprinting. I'm spitting. I'm, I'm not spitting. If anything, I'm spitting to my mic. And it's not songs, it's actual spit. Alright, let's... Let's go see these guys, like, get wet, and then, like... Probably I'll cut the video and start grinding. Fuck you go. Why have you brought me here? That voice! It's music to my ears! I feel like I could cry. Oh, darling, tell me, is it you? My one and only Kai? I'm his grandson. Yeah, I'm Kai. Do I know you? <sighs> what? You're a mermaid. It's the one I was telling you about. Oh, silly me. I'm always far too quick to jump for joy. You don't know me. I don't know you. <laughs> You're not my darling boy. No, I'm not. The man you loved, he was my grandfather. But he's not here anymore. <sighs> my darling Kai, my one true love, the one that I adored. You died alone and friendless on this cold and windswept shore? Pretty much. Oh, how could I forget we mermaids live 500 years? Quick as a flash, a human life just ups and disappears. Without Kai, hours seem to pass too slowly to be true. But now I see cruel time was flowing faster than I knew. <sighs> Thanks for finding Kai for me. You've been a proper friend to trace my love across the sea until the bitter end. I said I would reward you, and I mean to pay that debt. You'll find your prize upon the selfsame island where we met. I'm sorry I can't come along and see you on your way, but now I'm here, I can't go back. I think I have to stay. Okay. I don't think that's how it works. Yet strong and honest. The 
hands of one who'd never, ever make a faithless promise. A mermaid who sets foot on land will perish in the brine. But that's all right. I got to meet my darling one last time. If I had been a human, or if he had been like me, perhaps we could have lived together, happy as can be. But I'm a mermaid. He's a man. There's no point asking why. He was my one true love. But now, it's time to say... So what kind of suicide could this be called? I can't stop thinking I've seen her somewhere before. Of course! Grandpa's cabin! <laughs> Alright, see ya. Guys are making fish babies in the afterlife. That that was I still think that's weird. So like, okay, I'm just gonna like walk on land and then just kill myself. Wait, can I like fall down? Wow. What? Why? Hey, hold on, there was something here, right? Fuck! Alright, let's see what you want, big boy. God damn. Such fucking talent, eh? Hmm. What's this? A letter. So so no one This is grandpa's handwriting. So, so no one no one thought to look behind it or something? Dearest beloved, ever since you saved me on the day of the great storm. The dream of one day being reunited with you is all I have lived for. But now I fear that dream is over. Forgive me, my darling, but I cannot keep my promise. Some years after my boat was burned and I was exiled to this beach, the fishing fleet was hit by another great storm, and many people lost their lives. The Kahuna and his daughter Leilani's husband were among them. One night, not long afterward, I saw a woman standing on the cliffs. She had a baby in her arms. It was Leilani, the woman who was once to be my wife. Flash for time. With her father and husband gone, she had lost all hope and all reason. I called out to her, but in her grief, she could not hear me. Before my disbelieving eyes, she threw herself into the ocean. I tried to save them. I did everything I could, but only the baby survived. Kai? Huh? You're sure you're fine to row back home? You're not in any pain? I wish you'd let me keep you, till you're fighting fit again. Don't worry about me, Michelle. You fixed me up real good. I'm fitter than ever. <laughs> Failure. <laughs> Kai, I know you've got to go. There's things you have to do. Just promise me you'll be back soon. I'll wait right here for you.
It's all my fault. I'm sorry, Michelle. I... I can't leave. I can't just be thinking of myself anymore. This child needs me. The villagers say you put a curse on me, but it's only because they don't understand. They don't want what happened to me to happen to anybody else. You have to forgive them. They don't know you like I do. They don't know you at all, and what they don't know, they fear. I sometimes wonder if you're still sitting there, on that rock, still waiting for me to return. But it's too late for me now. I'll never make it back there. I'll understand if you can never forgive me. But I want you to know one thing. I love you. I always will. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have been so hard on you. Without you, I'd never have known all of this. Never met Michelle. All this time, I hated that mermaid for what she did to my grandfather. But now I see how he really felt. He wasn't cursed. He really loved her. It is... Is that it? Okay, I can finally loot your shit. Uh, homie just dipped. Like, there's no... <laughs> I completely forgot that flashback actually happened. Hey, are you, you good, my dude? Sorry for making you do all that stuff for me and my family. But thanks, because you, you and my eyes are finally open. My heart of hearts, I think I hate my grandpa more than I hate the mermaid who cursed him. I was ashamed. Now I know the truth. He wasn't cursed. He was in love. Okie dokie. Well, we, we completed that. <laughs> well, uh, such an interesting ending for this little arc. <gasps> oh my god, it's a chest! Alright, let's see what we got. Lorelei's harp. It's not a bomb the chest. My stakes are beginning to read. Dear friend, if you're reading this, it means I've gone away. If what you said to me is true, I don't think I can stay. Thanks all you done for me, and please don't feel too sad. After my Kai, you're the kindest friend I ever had. I promise I take you to the mermaid's seventh town. Although I can't come with you now, this harp will take you down. You find a shining whirlpool far from inside the inland sea. Sail over to it and strum the harp to meet her majesty. Please tell the queen I'm happy now. And there's no need to cry. I'm finally reunited with my dear darling Kai. Perhaps one day we'll meet again. For now, farewell. You'll be my friend till the end. Since yours sincerely, Shell. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bye. So, so that's how that story ends. Well, I mean, almost ends. We we, we still need to get the orb. But I did tell you I would go grind. So we're gonna have to go. Oh, you have to go inland. Okay. I guess I could continue going inland. Why not? Um. I'll go back to my lineup because I put the raw back in here. There we go. Easy win. Alright. Time to kick some ass. Tactics, maintenance settings, speed, ultra fast, and just start yeeting. How should we go about doing this? Just, just fight. Just do. 
Now this will work. There we go. That's life in the old dog yet. Ooh, you learn more heal. Uh, only five points. I'll wait. All right. Learns more heal quicker than. Well, I mean, Serena's only level twenty-three. Can't recall if she did die during that boss fight or not, but hey, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and start blasting. What the fuck? Okay, I... I really need to get some moves for like multiple bitches. Works. Why did I knew you were gonna say that? Why I knew you were gonna say that? I had that line in my mind. There we go. Uh, where do I go? Can we keep going forward? Uh, there's also like an island in the middle of friggin' nowhere. I don't recall if I checked it out last year when I was doing this earlier, but I can find out. Where's the glass frets? Uh... Okay... Ah, oh, we didn't! Okay, that's dope. Because I can find out whatever the hell's in this chest. I hope it's something cool. Rings around the world. Strength, agility, and prayer rings. Okay, that's not too shabby. I'm gonna go make them off camera. What the fuck is this? What? What the fuck? Robin Hood and his Mary. Well, I'll be damned. I was not expecting this. Eat ass blast, wit that bitch. Sh should I? I like buff? Is this a boss fight? I didn't notice him saying. Well, Christ. Okay. Found that. Let's try this. I'm just gonna go on the full offensive. I'll just have you just attack him, Robin Hood. Like, I can't really do anything with Serena yet, so I'm just... That! Kill the Merry Men! Here it comes! What the fuck does that do? Cool, blimey! <laughs> cool, Alright, not too bad. I doubt Silvando has enough for... No, he does not. Eric. Uh, man, I do got dual wielding a lot. Should probably get some deafness onto him. There we go. Tough guy tat. Oh. Oh, so wait, was was that how that quest was supposed to work? Hold on. It's a fucking pepper boat. Oh shit. Okay, I didn't. Okay. Didn't know I had to beat the shit out of, like... 
I didn't even know this was the right way to do it. I, I didn't even have that quest in my mind. Awesome. Well, I think, with that being said and done, I'm gonna go ahead and just zoom to a campsite real quick. Because I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode, because it's a half hour. I think it's a good enough spot to end the episode. Um, anywho, um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will go ahead and catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out, lads.